my name is Kelly Berliner. I'm the Eastern Regional Director of the Archaeological Conservancy. So the Archaeological Conservancy is the only national nonprofit organization that is dedicated to the permanent preservation of archaeological sites. This site, which is called the Squirrel Hill Archaeological Preserve, this is a Monongahela, most likely a village site, so dating to the middle to later woodland period. We acquired the site back in 2007 from the former owners, uh, the Jones family, who very generously donated this property to ensure it would be protected in perpetuity. Squirrel Hill is one of 500 sites associated with the Monongahela Cultural Tradition, or MCT. The people of the MCT were an agricultural society living in present-day southwestern Pennsylvania, eastern Ohio, and northern West Virginia from approximately 1050 to 1635 AD. They had established villages in circular layouts with homes surrounding central plazas, had shell-tempered pottery, and grew crops like maize and beans. Also, these groups used many different types of stone tools, including scrapers, knives, and projectile points, which were used for hunting, food preparation, and building. Squirrel Hill is a village site in southwestern Pennsylvania. In 2016, the Indiana University of Pennsylvania's Department of Anthropology, in collaboration with the Archaeological Conservancy, began fieldwork at Squirrel Hill. The earliest date we have from the site, uh, most of the dates are falling between about 1315 and, uh, I'm sorry, 1350 and 1600 AD. Okay, so this season, uh, we've been at the Squirrel Hill site since 2016. Uh, that was our first field season, and at that time, we didn't know much about the site at all. We didn't know the site boundaries. Through these archaeological excavations, numerous MCT artifacts and features were uncovered. At Squirrel Hill, post molds, hearths, and storage pits mark where houses and other structures used to stand. At Squirrel Hill, many artifacts have been taken by local collectors after being disturbed by historical plowing. The artifacts that archaeologists have uncovered at Squirrel Hill are those that were deep enough underground to be undisturbed. Some of the uncovered artifacts include Madison points, triangular stone projectile points characteristic of the MCT, which were used in bow and arrow, shell-tempered pottery used by Johnson face groups, a ground stone theorized to be used as a piece for a game called Chunky, fire-cracked rock, a remnant of indigenous cooking activity which has been cracked and discolored by heat, and a bare jawbone recovered from a feature on the southern end of the Squirrel Hill site. The layout of the Squirrel Hill site presents an intriguing puzzle, suggesting the possibility of two overlapping villages. Geophysical surveys reveal a distinct pattern in the site's organization. In the southern area, evidence points to oval-shaped structures typical of MCT dwellings. However, the northern area includes both oval and rectangular structures, with the rectangular structures differing significantly in size and shape from the traditional Monongahela cultural tradition designs. Could these structures suggest the presence of a non-MCT cultural group at the site? While this remains unconfirmed, future excavations may help answer this question. One feature that makes Squirrel Hill distinctive is its size. By acreage, it is one of the largest MCT sites. However, Unlike many other MCT sites, Squirrel Hill lacks evidence of a palisade or fortification. Perhaps the most intriguing aspect of Squirrel Hill is its potential as a multicultural site. Archaeological findings suggest evidence of both MCT and non-Monongahela cultural tradition components. This points to the possibility of overlapping occupations or cultural exchanges during the Johnston phase this points to the possibility of overlapping occupations or cultural exchanges during the Johnston phase of MCT history. By studying Squirrel Hill, we gain not only a deeper understanding of Monongahela cultural tradition lifeways, but also insight into how these communities adapted to their environment, interacted with others, and navigated the complexities of their world.